We really were trying to design a house that uses all its own energy first, and then if that's not enough, it draws from the grid. We're going to see more and more people having renewable energy and battery storage together and knowing that they can be independent of the grid. They don't need to have the grid to power their homes. I'm a progressive cowboy. A lot of people talk about freedom. You know, are you free when a company has the ability to cut your power off when you're trying to take care of your family and just live your life. I just wanted to build a, as green a house as we could come up with. We felt it was possible and this is a fantastic model. It can be done. It could be done on a large scale and all you do is scale it back and you can do it. challenge along the way was to bring in these technologies and it, it kind of snowballed a little bit like how about doing this and how about doing that and okay well and what's the best way who's the expert knows how to do that. With our dual axis solar trackers we're extending the uh, solar day out to a very long period of time typically it's about five hours for a solar day with uh, ground mounted solar trackers and we can get up to nine hours a day. It's remarkable with the tracker technology, how much we're able to gather. Dual access trackers means you're tracking exactly where that sun is across the sky, both vertically and horizontally. And when you add it all up, it's 40% more than if you had a stationary mount PV panels. These strong, well-built German trackers can go up to 75 miles an hour before they actually go to a horizontal and shut down so that they're not destroyed by the winds. It's like this beautiful piece of art that is very functional and productive and clean. That's going to generate enough to take care of all the lighting needs of the house. So this particular one's called a vertical axis, so when it turns, it actually looks like a solid cylinder. The birds actually see it. We didn't want to be chopping up eagles. <laughs> Right now, those batteries are for electrical outages when the grid goes down, which happens a lot out in this area. What we'd like to do is to be able to be off the grid for three or four days if we have no sun. Eventually, with some lithium ion batteries like Tesla's developing, we'll turn off the grid altogether. We came up with the uh, idea um, midway through the project of uh, utilizing rainwater to provide the uh, domestic water supply here. It sounds like a lot of water, but it's, it's not that much. When, when people shower and do everything they do in their, in their daily lives, they can use water pretty quickly. We became the first property of its kind to have a black water treatment system in San Diego County. We've put a lot into this quote-unquote case study home, but there's a lot of it that, that I see being the homes of the future. I like to think of the term the high-hanging fruit, the low-hanging fruit. The low-hanging fruit are things that are easy to do, are not expensive to do, that can make your house much more energy efficient.